a silky smooth, well risen cheese curd filling topped with a Tudor rose. I was like watching you give birth sir. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wholesome moments on the Great British Bake Off. I've done pretty much everything I came here to do and I'm so happy about that. Well done Martha. Well, thank, thank you. you. You're going to do really so well. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most sweet and sincere scenes that make you feel like putting on an apron and baking something for a loved one. What moving Bake Off moments warm you up inside? Share them in the comments. Number 10. Chillaxing Selassie with the pressure on, many of the amateur bakers on this popular competition show start to crack under the stress. But in season 7, there was one baker whose attitude was so relaxed, it was comforting. Thank you very much. It's great. Tell us about your citrus meringue. While others were freaking out, Selassie Bormita was taking every challenge with complete and utter zen. When it turned out a fellow baker was making the same kind of pie as him, he didn't worry about the competition. So who's copied who? Well, I mean, it was my idea. Some great fruit. What do you think he's been doing? Reading your emails? I think so. Do you think he's outside your house? He's hacked into my, my, Night my laptop. Selassie even took teasing with an amused grin and returned the favour with some meringue tomfoolery. His never-ending smiles and cheerful attitude about the ups and downs in the tent was an encouragement to all. I'm going to probably prove it for another 30 minutes or so. Number 9. A Saltwater Cake Bus driver Mark Withers tackled the first cake challenge with a recipe that allowed for maybe too big a margin of error. It's quite a straightforward recipe and it's quite forgiving, so there's not a huge amount that can go wrong with it, hopefully. It never has done yet. Even the best recipes can't prevent a cake collapse, but especially not when the nervous baker keeps opening the oven door. Sue Perkins pulled the devastated contestant aside for a comforting host pep talk. It really means something to you. You know, and what I love about you is your emotion shows on your face. In this feel-good moment, she pointed out that he not only had a fabulous tie, but also more chances to impress the judges. You've got the whole weekend. Sorry. You've got a perfect tie. Get back. Perfect up, stand <laughs> up you. straight. Yeah. Mark took a deep breath and declared himself ready to continue. Like a parent playfully teasing their child, Sue helped Mark through his last bit of sadness with a well-timed silly joke. I think it probably will be a salt water cake unless you dry those papers. <laughs> Number eight, wedding reunion. While this didn't technically take place during the Great British Bake Off, we just couldn't skip it. it kind of springs back when I touch it, which is good. Now I'm going to roll it up when it's hot. Viewers are given the impression that the contestants leave each season as great friends. This definitely is true with the cast of season five. At 17 years old, Martha Collison was the youngest contestant to ever take part in the show. She made it all the way to the quarterfinal and was clearly a favourite to all. You are 17 and you are <laughs> so brilliant and you are going to rule the world, my darling. Let's all really women on. hug you. Come on. Let's... You rock. Ten years after their season aired, Martha invited her former cast members to her wedding. They not only attended, but each baked a special cake for the bride and groom. The messages and photos on Instagram show that these contestants are still very much in each other's hearts. I've loved every minute. I've loved all the people. They've made inedible things and delicious things. I've come last and I've come first. Number seven, a little boost. Traditionally, the British keep a firm handle on their emotions. Michael Chakraverty from season 10 was delightfully dramatic. I know it's just a cake. <laughs> Can I jump in the river now? He was free with laughter, tears and hyperbole. What could go wrong? Everything. However, when it looked likely that Michael would walk away from a tricky technical bake, host Noel Fielding stepped in to help. Usually Sandy was the host to provide comfort and Noel's role was to tease and make jokes. In this moment, the usually comic host was quietly supportive and talked the stressed contestant through the panic, which was a nice change in pace and a very sweet moment. You're doing really well. You're good at this. <laughs> Imagine me doing this. I've got nothing. Number six, celebrating differences. Lizzie Acker spent weeks on the show trying to impress the judges with more than her flavours. Most of her bakes were described as tasty but lacking finesse. But the side of it is a real mess, isn't it? It may taste fantastic yet. Best hope so. 
She finally achieved her goal when she created a cake to celebrate her own differences. Lizzie shared her struggles as someone who grew up with a lot of special educational needs. Too many thoughts in your head and you don't actually know what to think about. So it's all about colour and, you know, like, brain food. She felt this was something that could use more representation in the media, so she produced a wildly colourful cake to celebrate her own brain. The audience shared in Lizzie's triumph as she finally received rave reviews for her unique style. I think it's wonderful. We asked for exquisite finesse. And we got and it. And we got it. I knew you could do it. Equally heartwarming was the delight on the faces of her fellow contestants. Number 5. A Baking Lifeline Terry Hartill, the creative and artistic baker from the ninth season, was a consistently cheerful presence in the tent. I'm going to try and recreate 24 identical little lambs. However, in a tearful exit speech, he expressed how important the show had been to him. It's funny when you're on your own. Thank you, Diane. You look my wife and I were very happy, and that was a massive loss. His wife had passed away the year before, and it had been a very difficult time. Baking helped Terry fill the void that was left behind, and in the time he spent on the show, helped him make more friends and gave him something new to focus on. I've met some lovely people. I'm sure we'll keep in touch for a long time. Yeah. It's been a big help. At the end of the season, there was a montage of photos showing what the bakers were doing back home. It was so nice to see Terry meeting up with fellow contestants and their families. Number 4. Making Grandma Proud The Great British Bake Off spin-off Junior Bake Off had its first US Netflix release in August of 2022. Welcome, Welcome to, to Junior, Junior Bake, Bake Off! Off. That is for Bake Off 10 and I'm there! Fans may have recognised one of the judges as a former contestant of the original show. Although he's now on the other side of the table, Liam Charles was only 19 years old when he competed in season 8. I just realised actually, there's only two guys left. Mm hmm, I don't mind. I represent. Although Liam had many humorous moments on the show, the most uplifting was when he based a pastry on his grandmother's Sunday dinners. He was over the moon that the judges liked it. The pure joy and excitement of winning the Star Baker title that episode, combined with the credit he gave his nan, was delightful. Just wanted to make my nan proud because like her food is crazy, like crazy good, crazy good. Number three, fatherly inspiration. Throughout season 12, Giuseppe Delano created delicious and precise bakes, often drawing on family recipes. From a family of professional chefs, it was growing up in Italy that Giuseppe discovered his love of food. Is it good? A passion Excellent. his children Alberto, Ricardo and Giorgio also share. He frequently credited his father in his baking inspiration. Making desserts for your children was a family tradition that he wanted to continue with his own family. In the final episode, Giuseppe was shocked to receive a video message from his elderly father. The brief encouragement brought the Italian baker to tears. <gasps> oh no! Giuseppe! Ti faccio gli auguri! In the message, his father told him that Giuseppe had become the better baker of the two of them and offered his unwavering support. This touching message from the man who taught him to bake must have inspired the finalists to even greater heights. He won the final challenge and ended the season as the winner. Number 2. Rahul's Show-Stopping Handshake if ever there was an Eeyore of the great British baking show, it was Rahul Mandal from season 9. Still, I'm hoping that, yeah, we'll see. Look at me. I hope so. It's going to be great. See? Look at that. Huh? Is that working? Well, no. Nah. Despite frequent successes, the self-effacing baker always believed he was just one mistake away from going home. Rahul was adorably gloomy. In the second episode, he produced an intricately decorated and delicious layer cake. All were shocked when Paul Hollywood gave Rahul one of his coveted handshakes. Rahul, can you come here a minute, please? This was the first time the steely-eyed judge had ever given one for a showstopper. I've never given a handshake for a showstopper before. For one heartwarming moment, Rahul looked truly pleased with himself. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Teamwork makes the dream work. Fellow contestants help a struggling Tom get his biscuits finished in the last minute. Do you want a hand? Yes, please, 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 please. I will be 
be as careful as I can. It's okay if they fall apart, they fall apart. My hands are shaking so much. Don't worry. A multitasking host, Mel helps Francis fill a piping bag while giving Ruby a requested talking to. Mel? Yes, lovey. I need a talking to. Can you t Right, I've got a sorry. Give me one second. Get a grip. Thank you. Just get a grip. Thank you. Okay? Hey, look, Ma, I made it. Rahul calls his mother after his win. Mulchi, a match or a result declare kollo? Ami yaki jite chhi. A moving goodbye. Priya gives a moving speech about finding her place in baking. It's meant to me, but if you just start with the things that you really enjoy, you can't go wrong. Tearful laughter. As he left the show, Michael was proud, exhausted, and laughing. It was my time. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I feel okay. My head is held high and I am so happy and so proud. Number one, Nadia's victory speech. Nadia was a favourite of season six for her sassy sense of humour and humble personality. This is obviously an emotional journey for Nadia. She's made her own wedding cake and it tastes mm. amazing. The show-stopping wedding cake she created in the finale secured her the win. There's no doubt her post-victory speech will go down in Bake Off history as one of the most inspiring. Nadia tearfully declared that she was actually a little proud of herself. She vowed never to put boundaries on herself again. I am never ever going to put boundaries on myself ever again. I'm never going to say, I can't do it. I'm never going to say maybe. And she did. Since her win, Nadia starred in her own baking shows and hosted competitions. She's published books and also baked a cake for the birthday of Queen Elizabeth II. I'm never going to say I don't think I can. I can and I will. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.